Hey everybody, this is Phil from Alabama Hot Sauce. That's alabamahotsauce.com on the web. I'm back in my fermenting and blending area, and today I've been setting up peppers to mash. And I've had a lot of people that have asked me about showing them exactly what a salt cap is. I know many people have the general idea, but most people have actually never seen it done and never seen what it looks like. So I thought before I salted this ferment, I turn on the equipment and give you a little video. Now what I have here is I've got a 26 pound bucket of mash. This bucket, this mash is in our Alabama hot sauce 28 pound uh, special vacuum container. So I got 26 pounds of mash here and that 26 pounds of mash is going to need about 1.1 pounds or one pound one ounce actually, it's not 1.1, of salt. So what I'm going to do I'm going to get my scales out here, put out a container, I'm going to set it, tear it to zero, set it to pounds, all right, there we go, and then I'm going to measure out 1.1 pounds of salt. And this particular salt I'm using is uh, Morton's Kosher Salt. There's one pound and one ounce. So we got one pound and one ounce of salt. So we open our container. Man, that's a beautiful box of uh, orange Manzano mash. With those beautiful black seeds in it, it looks absolutely great. Now, what I've got here, you can see the top of the mash. I've got my one pound, one ounce of salt. So I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of this salt in the mash and then I'm going to turn it over a little bit. And what I'm doing here is I'm incorporating this salt down underneath the salt mash in just a matter of just minutes. It's going to be melted and it's going to integrate through this entire mash. Now I'll put just a little bit more. And we'll mix this in. Now, I go up here and I really smooth out the top of this mat as best I can. Now what we're going to do, we're going to put on our salt cap. And what we want to do with a salt cap is we want to first start at the edges of the ferment. This is where the calm yeast grows and where things seem to start. So we want to make sure we get salt on these edges. We then want to go through here and cover the top of this ferment with the remaining salt. Now, a salt cap doesn't have to be an inch thick. You don't have to use a lot of extra salt, more than what you would normally use for your ferment. You just have to take what you have, and in this case I used about a third of it, and you have to spread it out on the top of your ferment. And what that does is it creates a salt layer that in the very early days of the ferment make it impossible for anything bad, calm yeast, anything bad to catch on there. So, 
We spread that. And we have our salt cap. Now if you take a look, you'll see that that salt cap is rather complete. And it completely covers the top of that bucket. Now what we want to do is cover our ferment and then I'm going to draw a vacuum in this ferment to make it really, really clean and protected in those first couple of days. Remember, I'm using the Alabama Hot Sauce Special Fermenting Bucket. I got two holes in it. In this hole, we would normally have if we were using it, the brewer's water valve, but we got it plugged because we're going to use this simple one-way valve to vacuum this, this container. So, we put the top on. We ratchet it down good and tight. And I'm just going to use a hand vacuum here. Doesn't take very long with a hand vacuum. This bucket doesn't have much head space in it anyway. We're starting to feel resistance because we're pulling our vacuum. All right, there we go. We got it backing down to what's probably uh, 20 inches of mercury. Now, I'll record everything and all the salt I put in this, this on my fermenting batch log sheet. I'll write all the data on my wide tape. The wide tape will go in here. And this ferment will go into the rotation and somewhere down the road, this is gonna make some absolutely wonderful chili marzano hot sauce. More than likely one of our favorite flavors, which is called little orange apple. So folks, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you taking a look at how you put on a salt cap and at the same time using the Alabama hot sauce vacuum fermenter. I appreciate you visiting me and I'll see you next time.